Hi, in our video tutorials for teachers, how they create the Teams links in Schoology, uh, those tutorials have two possible ways that teachers creating their Teams link in their Schoology course. One is they're just using the uh, link material. The other way they're using the page material. Either way it, it works is just how it is dis displayed. So this is sample one. This is just the link material. So if a sub's coming in, the teacher uh, instructions that we have in our video is a teacher would just click on it. Uh, they would start their Microsoft Teams meeting. Again, for teachers, it's okay if they use the Teams app or the browser. All students will need to use the browser though. Um, so I'm a teacher, I'm okay using the app, pops open. Because it's just a link in Schoology, I have to join it as a teacher. Then I have to click the people button and then I have to use this manage. And that's where I can change the management where it's set to only me. That's normally what teachers are doing. And then I can send it to people in my organization, just like that, and save it. Now, if it's the other type of link that the teacher has, the sample two, that was me using the page material. The nice thing right here, it's built in the manage options, only the teacher the owner of this Teams meeting can actually use this link, um, but I'll click on it. And then this is where they can manage those settings in case a sub's coming in. Again, just change it, people in my organization. So those are two possible ways a teacher might have a link, depending on how they have it. They have instructions on how to update it if a sub's coming. Now, if you are, um, an admin and you or another teacher has been added to the course um, and the role has been made an admin of the course then and you don't see the team's link or you don't have ownership of it to make that open to the sub then whoever is admin in that course at that moment can also click the team's meeting that's what teachers are doing to create these so they can click on that and then uh, admins of the course I can sign in and then you'll be able to create a meeting link. You can give it a title. And it doesn't matter what the date is set here. Just keep it as it is and we'll create it. And then pretty much you would just click meeting options here. And you would just need to make sure it's set to people in the organization. If you're creating it in that moment for the sub to actually have something to meet the students. And just close the tab out, then you click copy. And the easiest way is just click materials, add the link. Uh, so add materials and then add the file link. And then link, just make sure you paste it in there, give it a title. And really uh, essential is you have to click this off, this little ABC document, click on it so it's black and white, it's off, and then click add. And then now you have the link that you made just in that moment. So again, if there's no Teams link that teacher had set up, um, or you can't get access to the meeting options to open it up to people in the organization settings, then uh, any admin role in that course can also use that Teams button here to create a Teams link in that moment so subs and students can get together. Now let's go look at a sub actually uh, joining this course. So the course access code is down here. And it's good that sites collect those from the teachers to have uh, when a sub comes in so they can give it to the subs to join. Subs are joining these courses in Schoology using those access codes. They're joining as a student so they can't actually change anything in a grade book or delete something in a Schoology course or change those things. But because we've set these Teams links to just people in the organization, they can get in. So let's go look on the sub side, what this looks like. Sub will sign in to the device that they've picked up from the school office. And you either have your Modesto State Schools username and password that you're signing into that device, or uh, you're provided from the office a generic sub account that you're signing into that device. Once you're signed into the device, then just head on over to the Chrome web browser. Just click on Chrome here at the bottom and head to Schoology.com. Again, that's Schoology.com. 
And if it's your first time here uh, to join a teacher's course, you'll do sign up. But if you already signed up with the Schoology account before as a sub, then you just do log in, log in with your Modesto City Schools username and password that you had used to set up. So you don't automatically able to log in. You will need to sign up for your first time and you're gonna sign up as a student to get into this. Then you're going to type in the access code that's given to you by the school site office or the teacher that's averaging the sub. The access code to the course is not case sensitive. It can be upper or lower case letters. You do not have any spaces and you will need the hyphen. So you'll type in the access code to the first course that you're subbing for and then click continue. You'll then put in your name, email address, and password for your account or the generic sub account that you are given. When you're putting in the email address, you may put in the username at monet.k12.ca.us. If it will not let you use that, then you may change the email address. Just use the username at mcs4kids.com instead. Use the password uh, that's for your computer a password that you have from Modesto City Schools, or if you're using a generic sub-account, use the password that you're given. Click the checkbox and click register. Once you're in, if you have additional course codes to join, just click courses at the top, click my courses here on the right, and then you would just click join a course and type the next access code, uh, join it, then click join the course, put in the next access code and join and so on. All of the courses that you're joining, if you click courses at the top, you'll be able to get to here from the grid or from my courses and they'll be listed in alphabetical order here. So we're gonna go to the course that we just logged into, signed into with the access code. There's a couple of ways that you might see a teacher has the video meeting that they have with the students. One is, it looks like this, just a link. Second, it might be a little bit more full featured where it looks like this, where it says join Teams meeting. So you're looking for some kind of link um, for a daily meeting, for a Teams link that might be in the course. The teacher can title these links as they wish. Um, if they're using just a link, you might kind of pay attention if there's like the little Teams logo with the web link, chain link icon. If they're doing it this way, then you'll definitely see it listed as I do here. Now, if you're not finding any Teams links, it might be that the teacher is using Schoology Conferences, uh, which is this right here. And currently, there's no way for a sub to actually start those video meetings with conferences. So we are recommending that all teachers at least create a Teams link uh, for the sub for you to click on. So either way, you either click right here if it's like this or click the link itself and you'll be able to start it. So if I click it, this is what's going to happen and you will be able to continue on the browser and then go ahead and click allow for your microphone and camera. It will have you do this generic. Um, you can just put in your last name. I'm a first name. In a moment, you're going to be able to actually sign in. So then you click join. And then you're kind of waiting because you're not approved with just that guest generic account. So as a sub, you will need to click right here where it says sign in. And then go ahead and put your uh, district Modesto City Schools email address, the at monet.k12.ca.us one, or the generic. Uh, account be just the generic username you were given at monet.k12.ca.us and then you're just going to be able to click join now so this is what it looks like when you've actually been able to enter in if you don't see this then you're blocked you'll need to talk with the school site office about ways that they can go into that course to give you permission. 
But if you're in the meeting like this, then it's working. And you have a couple of tools, the web camera, turn on and off to see yourself, the mute or unmute, the share button to share your screen. You also will see students will click their hand to raise their hand if they have questions. If you use the people button, you'll see all the students who are coming in. You can click the three dots and mute them. Uh, you might set some ground rules for etiquette and keeping mute until you unmute them. So students can raise their hand, then you can come here to unmute them. Uh, students can mute themselves or you can mute them back. Also, there's a meeting chat right here that you can all be typing different notes, different comments, uh, chatting. Uh, sharing on the focus topic. Remember, this is all documented, so the teachers can be able to see this too. So it's very transparent for what the sub and the students say in here. So be very mindful, and even the students as well. Also, this is a great place as a sub. Maybe you have some kind of web-based activity. You can paste in that web address and students can click on it and do the activity while they still hear you in the meeting. A uh, very important as the sub and then when you're all done you'll click the red button and have all the students do that first. Have them click that red button to end and you can see who's leaving and then you as the sub be the last person to leave. You also, as a sub, you'll be able to see all of the coursework and assignments that the students are doing, and you have the view just as they do as the student. Now back in the teacher's view, so in the instructions we have for the teachers, they're gonna wanna lock this back up um, because right now these are pretty much open for anyone in our organization to click on these links and be able to go in right away and present. Uh, so as soon as possible, once the teacher is back uh, to set this back to only me. So teachers again would just either click on the meeting options if it's set up this way, and in their instructions are shown to set it back to only me right here. Or if it's just the link itself, again, they have to click on it and join it to get to those permissions. And it's pretty much just in the people app right here. And it's this one with the check mark and the X. And again, they'll change that to lock that back up to only me. So only the teacher is the one that can start it and admit uh, the correct students to come in. And that is how teachers set it up and subs use uh, Teams within Schoology. Thank you.